one recording okay uh did michelle respond uh yes i think she's she's coming she's on her okay road. good well um i'm gonna start with firefox or android in the interest of time um i've noticed first of all firefox 25 appears to be smooth i'm still looking at feedback for firefox 25 for android firefox 26 research is done thanks to michael Sarvnava and others who've helped with the research. Michael Verdi is writing articles. There's a section in Etherpad called um, Consolidating an Archive of uh, Android Articles. Please check that out and please help if you can. Um, and we're going to do something different and start Firefox 27 research while we're still in Aurora phase. So I started an Etherpad. There isn't much in there, but we'd like it to be as detailed as the Firefox 26 Etherpad. Um, I actually think Firefox 27 for Android is not going to have much in it. So this will be a small release for people writing KB articles and for people translating KB articles. Uh, are there any questions about Android? And hopefully when I'm done this, Michelle will show up and she can, can run the rest of the meeting. No question. Okay, I, I think I can take over for Firefox OS. So uh, we've launched in uh, Brazil, Mexico, Peru, and Uruguay. Uh, we want to thank to all volunteers who contributed and helped with localization and also with questions uh, on Firefox OS on the forums. Uh, Ralph uh, is now in uh, in Brazil. He's uh, attending uh, the event in Rio. So um, uh, he is uh, also buying Firefox OS uh, LG phones and uh, will be able to, to have them uh, next week and, uh, and have a look at them. Uh, also, um, Talendor already uh, announced it. Uh, we are uh, looking for uh, launching in Serbia, Hungary and Montenegro and sometimes by, by the end of, uh, of this year. So whoever uh, wants and uh, has the time to get involved in, uh, in helping us with article localization for these markets, please reach out to, to me. Uh, I will put my, uh, my email address in the interpad today. Um, also, another, uh, another good, uh, good news is that yesterday we had the update for, um, uh, for Colombia for the ZTE phones. Uh, still nothing on uh, on Alcatel, unfortunately, for both Venezuela and Colombia. Uh, it's uh, it's on its way, but we we don't have an exact date yet, uh, yet. But yesterday we were able to receive the update uh, for uh, for CT. Uh, and uh, also the last thing is that uh, in uh, in Germany uh, they are they are shipping the devices already. There were some problems there, so uh, that's uh, that's another good news. Uh, I also see Michelle now. Michelle, I, I just uh, gave the updates for Firefox OS. If you have anything you'd like to, to mention. Thank you. No, I was just putting, yay, I got my Columbia update and it's installed well um, on my BT Open. So I'm excited about that also. Mm -hmm. Thanks for giving me updates. So sorry to be so late. Hey, Tony, welcome. Nice to see you in the oh, meeting. I wanted to add one update is that the web compatibility team is looking for volunteers who can work with so website what orders. So we have coming? Oh, I just said, um, Michelle, I just wanted to add one item. I am, Roland, are you trying to jump in? Oh, am I muted? <laughs> We can't hear you. I can't hear Roland. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and Michelle, I just wanted to add one item. The yes. web compatibility team is looking for volunteers to help us with web compatibility uh, for Firefox OS and Firefox for Android. It's a, I would say it's a medium technical job. You don't have to code, but you have to understand web and how people can make websites that are uh, more open web. And you have to know how to fill out bug reports, which I think crosses over to a lot of the Sumo people. And a lot of the support questions, at least in Firefox for Android, are around the fact that, hey, this website doesn't work in Firefox for Android. And well over 50% of the time, it's because they're, they've coded explicitly for WebKit 
um, in, a, in violation of web standards and a simple educational um, or they've coded um, just incorrectly their website and a simple educational reach out from a volunteer or staff member would be very helpful. So if anyone's interested from a Firefox OS or Firefox Android point of view, please email me and I can, I can uh, walk you through the process. Sorry, I'm done. Cool. No, that's awesome. Um, I'm typing this into the Etherpad, but maybe it's already in your section. It is, but it, you could just refer to my section. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like your description of making websites work better. Um, okay, so what else is going on for, um, for Firefox OS? Ralph is in Brazil this week. He is in um, two cities. Uh, the first is to meet with Vivo's support managers um, to check in with them and talk with them about our support welcome kit uh, that tells them all about how we do support, um, how we support how-to questions and the documentation of the 14.4 apps on Firefox OS and also how if they see something coming up in their call centers how they can um, share it with us um, through our escalation channel to our help desk and Tamina is telling me she already said all this so thank you um, so he'll be in Rio this weekend giant mall for an event um, an in-store event and he'll be handing out little um, little you know, cards to tell people about Sumo and, and how to get help if they need it uh, with their new devices. Uh, what else do we have on Firefox OS? Tony, do you have anything you want to share with us about Firefox OS for QA? Or anything coming in? Um, what would you like to know? <laughs> There's anything particular? Are you um, involved in the work week this week? You guys are having work week this week coming. I'm not, but one. Of, but we have people there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I can't tell you too much about that other than the fact that I can send you guys some notes, but they're they're pretty much working on Haida um, discussions as well as um, trying to better some of the problems with the automation failing and catching regressions. And um, and they're also merging browser into the home screen. If you guys didn't know that, so that'll be a refactor for 1.3. You know, so. Oh, tell um, me about that. <laughs> yeah, one dot three would be a lot of work because they're adding Rocket Bar, adding Hida work, which is part of Rocket uh, Hida. Rocket Bar is part of Hida. And if you guys don't know what that is, that's basically a redesign of the home screen um, to make it more fluid, so you can actually transition between the pages. Um, like all the card views will probably change a bit, and and they're integrating all the searches, so you can search for apps directly on the phone. And of course, uh, like I said, the browser itself is going to be the part of the home screen. It's, not, it's still a separate app, but the process and all the back end stuff is all going to be treated as one application, one um, process. Um, and so there's going to be fallout from regressions there. But that's from the work week. Other thing you guys want to know? And that's all um, looking at 1.3? That's 1.3, most of it, yeah. Okay. The work week is 1.3. Still I think they're trying to some 1.2 bugs, but most of it is 1.3 work. We've talked a little bit about Haida and um, gesture-based, uh, the gesture navigation, and a few of us right. have seen some of the early prototypes of it. Okay. But it's helpful to learn a little more about the browser. Have you been going to the meetings? What's have you been that? part of those meetings? Have you been part of those uh, discussions that they have this there this week? Um, nope, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, invite yourself. <laughs> Feel free to. It's, um, talk to Candace if she, if she wants. She has a schedule. Maybe that might be something that you guys should be, uh, you know, maybe relevant. I don't have it on me, but uh, Candace Aaron is, is, is running the show there. So if, if there's anything that's relevant, you just, okay. you know, just drop it. Will do. Um, okay. So this work week's in San Francisco currently? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there's okay. a whole group of people that is there this week. That's me for me, and it's so lonely. I was going to say, yeah, if we had the Concord still, she could just fly in a couple hours, but no Concord. <laughs> there are more work week coming up, um, by the way, so for, for, for Firefox OS um, between now and February. So 
different teams are going to be doing different things. But yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, the, the project management should, is, is me. So if you guys are interested in that, you can talk to talk to Candace. But yeah, there's a couple of the teams are starting now to plan their work weeks. Um, and and uh, I actually planning a QA work week just for BUG um, in January as well. So that's yeah, people will be meeting together and doing stuff. Okay, cool. So, Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions, BUG? Anything? Devices, whatever. I can tell after I do all for you. So. You can tell what? If you guys have anything, just let me know. I, I yeah, I'm involved with the driver, so I know what's going on. By the way, there is a device. A reference device in the in the works. If so, those of you that didn't know that, um, that's probably not going to come till probably not. It won't be in our hand till like April. That'll be relevant for you guys because this device will is the official. It's going to be the official Mozilla dog food slash development device, reference device, and um, so we are customizing it to our um, our specs or what we are requiring. And that will give a big leg up on. Um, and one of the big requirements is this device needs to be public, using open source code, um, and distributable with builds that are also publicly available. And flashing should be a lot more simpler than these silly Windows types tools that our OEMs give us. So, so there is. Um, if you guys are curious, I can I can send uh, I can forward a um, a list of the the specs to people. Just let me know who. Um, but this will be important because then once we get this phone out, we can start using this as give to community members, contributors, support, anybody that's going to test our Firefox. We can sell it to them. We can, I don't know, we won't sell it to them, but we'll give it to them, bring them to conferences, whatever, and people can start hacking, helping on these things. And so it'll be, a, it'll be, um, it'll be, so, but that also means we'll have to support all the builds um, on the QA side, qualify them and support it from, I'm guessing from a support staff point, wherever that means right now. But um, that'd be our product, right? So we're going to need. <laughs> so heads up on that. That probably won't be coming until next year. Like, right. right. Yeah. Early, but but it'll be early next year. So. Um, Q1. It'll be. Well, the, 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 this the building that we're talking about. Um, I think it will be much better than the situation we have today, for developers for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a much higher spec device than what we're calling developer device today, so that's going to help a lot. Um, but it will present the same kind of challenge that we have with the eBay VT open today, where we don't, you know, it's our product and our name's on it, um, and we don't right. have a carrier call center helping us um, right. answering questions. So, yeah, the, the only thing that we'll get support from from outside of Mozilla will be the hardware itself and then any drivers that come with the phone. Because those drivers are going to be developed, they usually develop for the devices, the firmware. And so the OEMs that we're talking to, well, it's, I don't know if this is a public call, this is a public call, right? So anyway, the OEM we're talking to will um, will, 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 will be responsible for providing um, uh, those uh, drivers. The updates, I don't know yet, is in question whether or not it's going to be hosted by Mozilla, it can be hosted by um, the OEM itself, that's still in question, but that'll be important to, to know once we find out what the plan is there. So um, we know who's going to push what updates and, and so on. But yeah, that, that is the plan and that's good. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this will replace a lot of those phones we have out there right now that are in question, supported or not, you know, and um, then we can start focusing on one thing, you know, as a company instead of um, helping other everybody else out. <laughs> okay. Well, having one device to dog food is um, huge. huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that was a uh, that was from that was a goal from day one, but now it's actually going to be reality soon. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, there was something else I was going to say on that, but um, other comments or questions from people about that topic? It's a big one. I would like to ask you something. Uh, it's uh, it's related to, to developers, you know, and uh, I, I'm taking advantage of this to, to ask the question now. So um, I have a, a friend here who's a, who's a developer and he's quite uh, experienced. He's actually created apps for both Android and iOS. And just to give you some, some background, one of his apps for iOS was used by, by Apple in, in one of their ads, etc. So. What I want to say is that his experience, he uh, tried to, to build apps for Firefox OS as well. 
And his feedback was that it was he didn't manage to do it because it was very difficult, it was unclear, uh, and he spent, he told me that he spent the whole weekend trying to do it and he had issues, you know, with this. So I am waiting now for a, for a larger feedback from him because I think it's quite important to have it, but I don't know to whom to send it, you know. So that's why I'm, I, I wanted to ask you if, you know, you, you're the right person to, to send to this feedback or you can point me in the right direction. <clears throat> Um, I'm assuming that person has saw all the documents that are posted on MD on how to write a dot app and where to submit it and how to create a manifest file, all that stuff, all the technical pieces. He's I found out. Sorry, I can't confirm that he saw all the documentation. I can just, you know, okay. this is what I know from him. And I'm so I guess my feedback is there, there are different parties that are responsible for different parts of the app development. That's why it's. Um, there's no one person right now. So let me let me give you an example because you don't know what the problems are yet. Um, if they have if the person's having trouble writing the app because the technology isn't working correctly, like the APIs, then you can talk to um, the, there's um, you might want to start with someone like Bill Walker, who's been who's been responsible for the engineering side of things. Um, he he oversees the you know um, you know, like the integration with that's into marketplace, you know, um, the actual app development, like if those things are, if the API is busted or it just doesn't work on the device, you know, as it should, you know, it, there's technical capabilities we, we, we can, we, we, that'll probably be a more engineering, um, you know, person focus on that. If he's having problems uploading to the marketplace, right, because actually they have a, the marketplace team has a, um, has a whole app review process that they do similar to what they do with add-ons. Um, and they're trying to lock down that what, what that looks like, what those um, gut criteria is, what approves of a marketplace, what security measures are, you know, you know all those things. There is a person that responsible for that. That's uh, that person's name is Lisa Brewster. Mm -hmm. She's uh, responsible for the uploading and the maintaining of apps in the marketplace. If the person's having trouble with payments, let's say their app is trying to use a payment system that we incorporated. If we have a MOZ API. Okay, okay. No, and that's another, another person. So that's why it's important to find out what he's struggling with, you know, because that's a pretty big question. And then, um, and you know, and, and to see how we can navigate these questions into different categories. This might be something for Sumo to think about if you guys ever have, how do you, um, you know, looking at these popular, um, you know, app developers that want to get involved and what are their common problems? Eventually, start working with the the mark the apps team to figure out where these you can filter these issues out, and we can get these categorized. But there's a whole apps team that does it, that works on just apps development, apps evangelism, apps apps uh, you know maintenance, and that's outside of BDG actually. But you know we work together with them, but they they uh, they 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 evangelize to the dev, dev apps crowd. You know, there's mailing this and everything like that. So, mm -hmm. I help. you can start with those two people, Bill Walker and Lisa. Right. I think Patrick, welcome, Patrick. Has, um, I mean, at least you joined one of the apps work weeks um, in the last six months. And so, you have some ideas about, you know, developer support and where we're appointing people um, and, you know, what kinds of things um, we have on Sumo and probably. The gaps, some of the gaps as well. Yeah, right now they're pushing everybody over to uh, Stack Overflow, and they've created a support system with that. Um, right. I didn't know it, that. Cool. It, it would be that your friend was having Hermina, and that way we can uh, find the right people to point them at. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Roland, I want you to get your updates. We can come back to Firefox a lot. Oh, I did my update already. Oh, but I do have a question for Tony with respect to Android. I believe the situation with KitKat, which came out last week, uh, Tony, is that it works in Firefox 25 uh, and works on Firefox 26 beta 2. Is that correct? Yeah. I, in fact, I just tested it today myself. Yeah, um, 26 beta 2, right? Beta 1 is Beta one is busted, so you probably should be aware of that. There's a crash 
on startup yep. when um when nine three four five one four. So I'll track that bug. I just verified this morning it works on beta two. Yeah. So, but that will happen because that's on beta one right now. People will get that right away. They'll crash on startup on a, any um, KitKat device. But Fire, the Tony, did you try Firefox twenty five? Does it work with Firefox twenty five at all? This is the twenty five works. Mm -hmm. Twenty five yes. works. Okay. Twenty five works. Okay. Yeah. So you can uh, that I mean, it worked as an it starts up and you can use it. Okay. So um, yeah, the only issue is 20 beta one, beta two should be okay. Once okay. that goes out, uh, hopefully has gone out by now this morning. And then um, yeah, those are probably the only support issue I think of. Okay, great. Oh, the thing I was gonna say about the reference device um, was just this week um, we had the question show up on our forum, sort of like, well, what's you know, what in these devices is not open source, right? Um, and of course, we can answer the question of what a Firefox OS is open source and point people to GitHub and, um, and to the licensing information. Um, but I think that what you said, Tony, about having something that's redistributable, the whole device, Be awesome. um, is awesome. Important, and that's going to start to, I mean, it's starting to come to top of mind if it's showing up as a question on Sumo. All right. So here, here's a lot. I, I would, I would, you should not wait until, you should probably wait until you hear an official message from um, product or, or release management on the reference device discussion um, before, uh, what I told you guys, you guys would know that here as employees, but, you know, none of this has happened yet. None of this is actually out there, so we, we don't want to get jumped too ahead of the gun yet. No, um, that said, um, Chris, Chris Lee was asked if, um, by Axel, by, by, sorry, Alex, I get those guys confused. Um, if, um, we can issue a public statement on the reference device, you know, which means includes hardware and anything else, you know, where the, and I believe they are in the discussion right now, clear out with legal to make sure what they can and cannot say publicly. So if you guys are following BDG release drivers, I'm hoping some of you are, then um, pay attention to the thread between Alex and, um, and Chris right now. Um, and I'm hoping that by the time you know, a statement gets uh, put out there that we can have a public, you know, wiki page or hosting the same, then you can answer, ask a question whether or not, you know, like, um, what about bills, what about stuff, and then, then you guys can prepare any kind of similar support questions or answers for. So that's, the, that's probably my best answer. Or you can always poke them yourself directly, you know, specifically answer the questions you guys have. But I would, yeah. Well, and we have open source notices on the phone, but they were not working for me yesterday. So I know I filed a bug on this before release um, in the, the um, you know, sort of the about Firefox OS device section. So um, I'll go back and see if I can find that that old bug. Um, those links are not working now. They're supposed to point to MDN links. The pages are there, but those MDN links are dead. So I don't know, maybe if they killed them with the redesign of MDN. Um, oh. But uh, but again, back to what you were saying to Hermina also is that most of the content that we would direct developers to is on MDN. Oh, yeah, if the end outdated, then we got to make sure that they're, they're back and up and running. So, um, now please report those issues. Yeah. I know that they are working on. I, I mean, I did see some emails that came through where MDN was adding a bunch of new pages recently. Um, yeah. So, who knows if something got lost in the mix there, or um, or not updated. So, um, if you need a contact person, I think I'm sure you know who they are. So, I can help you find that. Okay, thanks. But yeah, specifically, yeah, issues are broken. You should just report those up. We got one minute. Yeah, saw it yesterday. Yeah, we might go over today. Um, but you're free to leave if you have to go to the planning meeting. I know that's where you have to be, Roland. Um, so thanks for doing your update first. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording. If someone, um, if we do other stuff, feel add the stuff to the Etherpad. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you, Roland. Appreciate it. Okay.